some questions, but I just have one simple question. <laughs> yeah. For a lot of these shows we cover, they're typically smaller cast, like three to four members. Uh-huh. So they get real tight as a group in a family. You got a lot of people here. How is that as a dynamic? It, it's great. We're it's definitely, surprisingly yeah. good. Yeah. Luckily, really. we don't have anyone on set that has any sort of huge oh, egos thankfully. or anything, and everyone's just there to work and have a good time. And we all know that our job is fun, yeah. and so to do anything to, you know, hinder that is just screwing yourself, really. Right. And it's really like a super ensemble cast. Like, yeah. there's literally somebody, like each character can identify with somebody in the world. You know, everybody can relate to somebody in some way. And it's really cool. Yeah. So. Uh, I was curious, did you always know that Sophia was going to be having this interest in Taylor, or was it as much of a surprise to you as it was to Lucas? <laughs> well, I knew um, I knew after the pilot. During the pilot, I had no idea. And then Meredith and I, the creator, Meredith, uh, the creator of the show, we were having dinner at one point, actually watching Lisa's show, and she said that it was going to be a possibility, and I couldn't have been more excited. She was so excited. <laughs> was like, she was like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, we had no. Uh, did you know who it was going to be with at that point? She, no, no, she didn't say who it was right. going to be with. I, I didn't find that out until several episodes. Ago. And I had no idea I was going to be tied into that and be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a surprise. No, it was great. And then, have you had any feedback from the LGBT community? Maybe someone it watching seems the show. Like it's been positive, yeah. and uh, I couldn't be happier to have, be a positive representation of the LGBT, LGBT community. Um, I am very supportive of that. I'm all about gay rights and gay marriage. And all that. So anything I can do to push that forward, even just representing that kind of character, is really important to me. Okay. Um, so you are really big with the social media, this cast, live tweeting every week. Yeah. But I understand that there was a certain captain that joined in on the fun. Did you want to talk about that a little bit? Because I saw you react. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We I was could have so been honored. So like, oh my excited. gosh. He actually replies to us and everything. Like he's yeah. he's a, a fan, a supporter. We'll call it. He's yeah. Like, so great with it. Um, he's been helping the ratings and helping us. Yeah. <laughs> so there's nothing but positive things to say. Exactly. I mean, we're both sci-fi fans, so like to have him come in and even acknowledge that our show exists yeah. is just like, this is amazing. And going along with the fact that it's such a big cast, are there any characters that you would like for your character to do more scenes with that maybe you haven't had the opportunity yet? Well, I mean, I always like working with her. Any scenes with Brina is awesome. Um, I think it would be cool to like have some type of interaction with Drake, which is Greg's character. Just because we're so opposite, like you wouldn't expect that. <laughs> Of that friendship, anyway. So I think that'll be fun. I know for me, uh, Chelsea Gilligan and I are totes besties. Totes best. Um, and we don't have a lot of scenes together, which means that our schedules tend to be different um, from one another. So we always get so frustrated, like I haven't seen you in days. Uh-huh. Um, and so I would like to have an entire arc that would with be fun. Terry. That would be great. Yeah. Only because I just want to hang out. What with just her. happened was the super nice characters just yeah. connected with like the badass characters. Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. That's totally yeah. what we got. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> So how is it for you live tweeting and having to be able, that instant reaction from fans, like as soon as you have a thought about the episode and they just come back full throttle with their emotions and feelings regarding what you put so much work into? Well, I think we have such great fans that it's always been so positive. It's really fun. Yeah, and everything they have to say is always like really cool. I like to see how they interpret things and what they think is going to happen. And you're just kind of like, oh, just wait, guys, just wait. They're really great about it. Contacting me. Keep in touch. And then... Is any of the tweeting affecting kind of how you do the show? Basically, you know, this is reactions you got from it to something else. You're doing. I think we'll see the second season. Yeah, yeah second season it might, but we already finished yeah. all the first season was in the can before the first episode even right. aired. So it might affect it. And that's what's cool about getting to uh, see the fans' uh, feedback so fast nowadays with Twitter. Is like the writer can edit like, oh, that would be great if that happened, or like, oh, the fans really want this to happen, and, like she can change that for a future. So that'll be really cool. And then maybe uh, to close things off, do you have any like anything you'd like to tease at or hint at just to kind of rile the fans up a little bit of what they can expect for the rest of the season? I mean, that Subek looks pretty nasty. Be really careful. Well, you know, we know about the Subek. Yeah. So let's just say it's a game changer. It's a game changer. It's a game changer. That's fair. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Yes. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's so hard because a little no, one little yes, tip gives everything away. It's yeah. like because uh, that black cypher was already nasty. So then it's when nasty, yeah, right? so when Big is saying that this will be the one to end, like to end everything, where, where do you go from black cypher? Yeah. Exactly. We have to find out. Oh, I want to tell so bad. <laughs> it's so hard for me. This is the worst. Yeah. I'm like, I will say um, there's a lot of Mardi Gras action. Yeah, that's fine. Like, like we yeah. embrace the the New Orleans culture there, yeah. and it's really fun. We have an episode where there's a like crap load of Mardi Gras yeah. and sweat stuff. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> She's like, that's it. And I'm like, sorry. Um, 